Scorpios. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. So I hope you guys are doing good. So let's go over the meditative session first, and then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. So for those who are new to my channel, my meditative sessions, it's energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be um, from someone within your immediate environment, or someone you're energetically attached to. Okay, Scorpios? So, Scorps... You guys are struggling with something. Some of you, this is definitely a big learning lesson. Others, it's a little bit of a test, okay? And for those where it's more of a test, I feel like that's really more for uh, my light workers here that are watching me. I know I have a lot of light workers who watch me, okay? Um, so Scorpios, first let me tell you what I saw and I'll tell you how it all comes together with the energy I was picking up on. I saw a snake, very Scorpionic. Then I saw a tiger and a mouse. Well, more than one. Mice, I guess. Mice. <laughs> Mice. Uh, Scorpios, you are in snake energy. Okay? I feel like you're on the defensive a little bit. You're on the defensive. You're. It's in, all in the name of protection. I feel like some of you guys are trying to protect yourself, first and foremost. Others, you're trying to protect something that's precious to you or someone that's precious to you. Okay, Scorpios? Um, but either way, it's like you're feeling a little defensive and very easily agitated here. Scorpios, snake is usually an energy that works really well for you. However... When I saw that tiger, I was like, oh, I see. Snake is very, like, proactive. It's very action-oriented. It's very much, like, striking, alert, on the defensive. It's, it's active. Like, think active, active, active. It requires a lot of energy, Scorpio. However, with tiger energy, it's the same kind of energy, except it's calm. So it is in the name of strength and willpower and all of that, but it is in the name of it is also in that same energy of being calm about it, not so proactive. A tiger will sit back. It sits, it watches, it doesn't slither all around trying to figure out, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G of all every little detail of every plan and, and you know, and all of that. It's, a tiger doesn't do that. A tiger reserves its energy for its own strength, its own willpower. Also, tigers are very much associated with higher um, energy or um, like enlightenment kind of energy here. And I feel like that's actually what you should be harnessing here, Scorpios. That snake energy is going to deplete your reserves of energy. And, and you need your energy right now. And I got that really strong during the meditative session that you need your energy right now for what's to come. I don't know what's to come. We'll see if that comes out in the reading. But you're going to need your energy for later. Reserve your energy right now. Don't chase after all these little mice pissing you off left and right. Don't chase after every little detail sit, receive information, observe from afar, all in the name of reserving your energy, okay? And regarding these mice, I feel like they're more distractions than anything else. I do feel like it's people who are agitating you um, or, you know, little things that come up that are really bothering you, but just try not to give it so much of your energy. Really try to take care of yourself right now. Really try to take care of yourself. Don't let these distractions get to you. Be the tiger, not the snake, okay? Be the tiger, not the snake. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. Get these cards all calibrated. Poisoning forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Cub? Why did they just give me the word cub? Some of you, this is some of you could be protecting your children. Virgo had something very similar yesterday, so I'm sorry not to get all ADD on you, but I'm doing like a different product regimen here for my hair. I don't know if I'm loving it. It might have been too much product. Anyway, let's see if that like there. Let's see if that stays like that. It probably won't. Anyway. So yeah, some of you guys could be protecting um, either something that you're just starting to work on or like, you know, like a brand new project, like it's in like the baby phases or an your actual child, something that is precious to you, something that's also vulnerable. And like I said, it could also be you. Oh, inner child as well. Inner child for some of you uh, is getting triggered here, which is why you want to be in that defensive snake energy. The lesson here is to rein that in. Master your emotions here, Scorpio. You guys are usually the masters of emotions, but when you're triggered, you like to sting, right? It's time to master that for your own benefit, okay? So whether your inner child is getting triggered or something that's precious to you and very like new to you is getting attacked or threatened, you're wanting to go in and like 
venomously sting as a snake. I know how that sounds. Um, it's time to be the tiger. It's time to be the tiger. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. I'm hearing wisdom. Yeah, there's wisdom in this, Scorpio. There's wisdom in this. I know this is not easy. I know it's really hard. <laughs> I know it's hard, Scorpios. Um, but it, I think you'll. I think you'll even impress yourselves. I think you'll even impress yourselves. There's something about this where it's like. There's something big coming for you, Scorpio. And it could just be really awesome things. We are coming into Scorpio season in a couple weeks. Um, but whatever it is, like, Spirit keeps telling me you're going to need your energy. So don't waste it now. Don't waste it now. Your energy is precious. Don't, don't ever waste your energy. Oh, Scorpio. Don't ever waste your energy. Please provide messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please provide messages of truth, healing, and love. I'm also hearing codependency. Some of these mice are codependent energies that are trying to also, that are, for some, they're nagging at you and they're bothering you, which is why you're like, what do I do? What do I do? And like, or you're pushing, you know, you're giving it energy. Um, others are just like, they keep coming to you, keep coming to you, keep coming to you. And you're just like, oh, that was weird. I was like, that was a very loud squeak. Um, yeah, some of you are dealing with codependent energies and it is kind of sucking your energy away. A little bit of like energy vampire energy. A little bit of energy vampirism there. Four of Pentacles just came out. Capricorn energy. I feel like this is your stance here, Scorpio. <laughs> protecting, protecting, protecting. Protecting what's precious to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just heard power position as well. <clears throat> Sorry, Scorps. <clears throat> is that a throat chakra energy for you guys? Um, power position. You're protecting what's precious to you. You're protecting yourself. Protecting your energy is really important right now, Scorpio. But again, like I said, you're almost getting distracted to protect something precious versus your own energy. You need to protect your energy right now. Don't get distracted. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Oh my... Two of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader with the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is definitely someone wanting to talk to you, Scorpio. And it is a soulmate of yours. I do feel like it's someone where there's, you know, you're not on the greatest terms. You're not on the greatest terms. And I do feel like it is making you a little bit more defensive. Careful, don't give too much of your energy here, okay? You're going to be tempted to. You're going to be very tempted to, especially if this was someone who really hurt you, Scorpio. Yeah, I just so major like... <sighs> My noises are weird today. <laughs> Major like defensive energy from you, Scorpio, whoever it is trying to come in and talk to you. Be very careful if this is an energy vampire. You don't need that right now. They keep telling me something big is coming, Scorpio. You have to reserve your energy. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. No wonder I was getting throat chakra energy. It's actually getting tighter and tighter. Whoever this is, Scorpio, I feel like they're going to drop some major truth bombs. I feel like they've been holding back on something a lot or like a, like either for a very long time or something really big, one or the other. Could also be both. But if you haven't known this person that long, it's something big. If you've known this person for a while, they just haven't been telling you for quite a long time, okay? <clears throat> Placing forth... Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy. Yeah, there's something coming here, Scorpio. Something big is coming. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. Keep in mind, Jupiter actually changes signs in December. Very exciting. It goes into Capricorn. Very, very exciting here. Um, I'll, I might do a video on that because that's actually kind of an important transit. But this is Jupiter energy and it is going to Capricorn in December. Uh, you might see that might be when this big thing comes in for you because Jupiter is a sign of blessings. Yes, you're a Scorpio. You're not a Capricorn. Of course, check your charts for where for whatever houses will be affected, like wherever you have Capricorn ruling those houses for you. Um, but people are people are either going to be. Well, how do I say this? Big shifts will happen around the time Jupiter goes into Capricorn. People will be coming into some big things. OK, you included. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, October 12th to the 21st. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, regarding love. Mm. Ouch. Ten of Swords. Yeah, Scorpio, 
whoever this is is talking to you, it's going to trigger the shit out of you, whatever they're about to say. I, I do feel it's a confession. Mm. I do feel like it's in the in, it's kind of in the realm of confession. Or, or you're going to see right through them and realize that they might be up to no good. Either way, it's going to trigger the hell out of you, okay? It's going to trigger the hell out of you. This is someone who could have already put you through something major like this. See if we get anything else. By the way, four of wands at the bottom. Oh, Scorpios. Yeah, save your energy here. Save your energy. Bye. Okay, this card really wants to come out. This will be the last one. Four of Swords, Libra Energy. Yeah, this is someone that you either broke up with, had a major ending with, and you guys have taken a very much of a hiatus, or they've been on a hiatus from you. There's this energy of, like, of separation from this person, and I do feel like there's pain attached. Also pain attached to whatever it is they're going to say, okay? Oh, Scorpios. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading. I know it's kind of heavy. Scorpio reading, I guess it would be heavy, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading here. For those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please understand these messages are very general. Uh, messages come through for those who need them, as you heard me set the intention. So if it's not your story, it's not your story, and that's not that's not a bad thing. Okay, that's okay, especially if it's a really heavy one like this. Please check out any other readers here on YouTube. They're all really fabulous, okay? We are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. So it's resonating, but you just have to reverse the roles then reverse the roles also guys don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing's gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy this is from the 12th to the 21st but keep in mind time is not linear whenever you're guided to watch a reading from whoever watch it okay <clears throat> oh any other questions or anything look below there's a lot of information there okay any messages oh what the heck sorry hair <laughs> a little curl fell on my leg any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? here wow <laughs> that was deep i don't know where that came from king of cups scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the hangman piscean energy this is your court card scorpio but i do feel like it's the other person okay the other person you're attached to they've been in a hangman position for quite some time it feels like or just deep that's what it is it's heavy it's a heavy hanged man energy i'm not used to it feeling so heavy like this it's a lot of water they've been very very deep into their emotions here and it is regarding the realm of love and commitment trying to it's almost like organizing their emotions that's interesting they're showing me drawers like <laughs> drawers of emotions <laughs> like opening and closing organizing their emotions here they might have air in their chart because that's a very air sign thing of like let me organize and try to figure this shit out like it's mental, but it's so emotional. Yeah, they might have air in their chart somewhere. Um, not necessarily, but it, it feels very air-like. They could be a cusper. They could be a cusper. Heavy, heavy contemplation here. Uh, any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? Keep in mind if it's vice versa. It's vice versa, right? Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Let's see here. Ugh. Ow. Death. Scorpionic energy. And four cups in reverse. Um, Cancerian energy here. There's, there's, this is like, I don't like this energy. Four cups in reverse is just like, it's, it's loss, it's rejection, it's abandonment, and death is an ending. Okay? I do feel some major transformative energy with this, though. Yeah, I do. Scorpios, you might have felt rejected by this person, and they're thinking about how they rejected and they're thinking about how they rejected you, why they rejected you. But here you are just feeling rejected. I feel that defensive energy here. It kind of puts you in your feels, but I do feel like this person is going to approach you. And it's just, mm, it's really going to put you on the defensive here. All the while, I feel little other shit coming up for you. Scorpio, this was a little bit like a trying time. I got to be honest. It was a little bit like a trying time. Let's see what else we have here. The Black Knight. Why am I getting that? The Black Knight. Spirit, what? <laughs> uh, oh, Scorpio, this feels like it's in relation to you and your energy here. 
Scorpio, you're going through a process. You are. You're going through a bit of a process. And I think that's why you're easily agitated right now. Yeah, that's why you're easily agitated right now. I, I just, just try to remain, again, try to harness that tiger energy. That tiger energy. Stay calm. Stay retracted. Observe, observe shit while you're going through your process. But I, I really feel like it's in your best interest to kind of just be with your own energy right now. Maybe even just kind of isolate yourself a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. But I, I, I really feel it strongly you need it before your season starts. I really feel that way, especially with whatever's going on with this person. Because it does feel a little bit like you've been, you've been pushed. You've been pushed away to some capacity and in some fashion. And that's really irked you. That's really bothered you. But all the while you're dealing with all this other, like, I'm getting like almost like, um, like something pops up here, something pops up there, something pops up here. And it's like, you got to handle shit. You got to handle shit. Like you don't have, you don't have time for people's bullshit. Again, another reason you need to reserve your energy. Okay. But something about Black Knight in regards to you, I'm going to see what else they give me with that, but they're not telling me much else about that. That might resonate for you guys on a personal level. I guess it would be very Scorpionic. <clears throat> Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? If it seems, I feel like some of you guys are asking about my energy. If it seems like I'm subdu subdued, I spent a lot of time in meditation before I did your reading. I actually spent like an hour in meditation, so that's why my energy is a little calm. Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Oh, yeah. Oh, and here they come. <laughs> Scorpio, here they come. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire with the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. I do believe that's Mars and Gemini. I could be mistaken. Um, I, don't felt, I don't know why I felt the need to say that replacement. Anyway, Scorpio, here they come. Here they come. Feeling, feeling lonely here. I do feel like they've been missing you, and they've been full, they've been really in their head. Really in their head. It's funny because like I said, with this energy, it was like, it's like they're sorting. They're sorting their emotions, very air-like, right? Very, They're very much in their head about their emotions, but they're coming in here, Scorpio, as a knight of pentacles, which shows promise, but that means they're coming in real slow. Real slow here, okay? But this, this five of pentacles energy, I don't like it for some reason. Why don't I like this? Scorpio, I don't think you're going to love their approach. I mean, they're coming in, like I said, very anxiety ridden about approaching you. I think because they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up. They know that they rejected you, ghosted you, whatever. Um, they know they fucked up. But at the same time, they're feeling lonely. It feels a little bit like a martyr. That's what it, that's what it is. That's what it is. It feels a little bit like martyr energy. Like, they're not going to say what they did to you, but they're going to come to you like, I do miss you. Why aren't we doing? That's what it is. Why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we doing that? How come you're not talking? To, like, like playing it off like they didn't do shit in a way, a little bit like a martyr. Scorpios can't stand martyrs. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get triggered. Okay, let's see what else we get out here. Let's see what else we get. And then we'll start breaking these energies down. Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, Scorpios, I feel your energy. You're like, I don't have time for this bullshit. Like, <laughs> any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Scorpios, resist that snake energy. I'm telling you, be the tiger. Just be the tiger. Overall energy, we have hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Oh, that's so funny. We have strength in reverse. Not quite a tiger, but cat family, I guess. Uh, Leo energy in reverse. I feel, yeah, okay. The This is the energy of coming in not coming well Jesus. <laughs> your energy's meeting thank you <laughs> of your energy's meeting here okay because they're in a hangman position i find the hangman usually comes out with the hermit card together in the same reading they're very similar they're very similar the hangman's more about like esoteric uh kind of a spiritual pause like getting information externally while the hermit's going within right? But it's it's essentially for the same thing. It's to gain clarity and take a time out, right? Very meditative energy. So Scorpio, they're coming out of their hangman position, but because they're coming out of their hangman position, they're coming to you. And like I said, you're, you're kind of in isolation right now too. You're mirroring each other a little bit. You're coming out of isolation too, only because they're kind of making you. Mm, I know. Only because they're kind of making you here with this hermit energy. Keep in mind, hermit and the hangman, that is Pisces and Virgo, the one sevens of each other. Just felt the need to point that out. And with strength in a verse, it's, it's this energy of like, don't control. I know. Don't hate me, Scorps. <laughs> 
Scorpios, I feel like on your end, it's about not controlling the situation. Be the tiger. A tiger doesn't have to control the situation. A tiger observes and waits for the situation to be prime, like primed and ready for them to strike and do whatever it is they got to do. But if you like watch like big cats, they mostly kind of hang back right lions lionesses i guess are a little different when they start to hunt but let's not get into the whole <laughs> technicalities of that but at the same time scorpios i feel like they're coming to you not very confident which is why they're coming across as a knight with the five of pentacles and nine of swords this is like this is very very lacking confidence five of pentacles is feeling like you don't really have a leg to stand on right and they don't because they know they fucked up and with the nine of swords they're in their head and they're very anxiety ridden and they're very afraid of approaching you they're very afraid of approaching you. There is something about your energy, Scorpio, where they're, they're you know, they're, they're not stupid. I mean, they know you're a Scorpio. They're not stupid, but they're coming with you lacking that confidence. But Scorpio spirit is basically saying, be the tiger, retract your energy, let them come in. Don't try to control it. Just observe. Just observe. Because you're going to get triggered. You will. And you need to save your energy for whatever's coming. All right, so let's go ahead and break these energies down. Let's look at the hangman and see what's going on with this person. Let me use right or wait for this one. Yeah, Scorpio, you're very much in your energy. I love it. I so love it. You're, you basically are the death card here, okay? Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. man for scorpio regarding love october 12th to the 21st keep in mind guys this doesn't have to be romance it could also be like a friend who did this to you a family member who did this to you so keep that in mind it doesn't always have to be romance related <clears throat> and we are coming into the mercury retrograde time it starts officially in halloween but the pre-shadow starts in a couple days on the 11th you guys know how mercury retrograde works always brings people from back from the past we're gonna have this theme for quite a while <laughs> all the way through the rest of the year actually we're gonna be having this theme tell me about the hangman so I have the hangman for Scorpio regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, Scorpio, for a lot of you, this is a lesson in mastering your emotions and your stinger for your benefit. Okay. Time so of the hangman for Scorpio regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Okay, that feels good. Time so of the hangman. And there you are, Scorpio. Coming across as a Queen of Wands, by the way. I like it. Fire energy. It's also um, water because it is a queen, but it's Aries first and foremost. I really like this energy. Keep in mind the full moon is an Aries on the 13th. Hangman is, you see that big ass moon right there? Yeah. For some of you, this is going to be going on for quite some time. Uh, I really feel like this person's coming in. Mm, it's going to be different for all of you, obviously. But with that Jupiter energy too, this could be playing out through the rest of the year. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be different for all of you. But this person put themselves in hangman mode over you. They're very attracted to you, Scorpio. They're very attracted to you, Scorpio, but they're very aware of your dark side. They're very aware of your dark energy. I think that kind of makes them a little nervous, which is also why they're afraid to kind of come in. Because <laughs> they know you have that dark side. Like I said, don't be the snake, be the tiger. Okay. Tell me about the hangman. You know, and it's funny because with the Queen of Wands, she does have like those cats on her um on her throne, and then she's got the black cat there um for the esoteric energy. Talking about the hangman. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. Talking about the hangman. They know you're, they also know you're someone not to not mess with, again, which is why they're kind of nervous about coming in. It's almost like they're trying to slow approach you like you're a predator it's kind of funny actually I, I, that's the energy i'm getting like i'm gonna slowly creep up on scorpio uh that king of cups in reverse scorpionic energy could also be water air it's definitely their energy they're thinking about your connection <clears throat> they're thinking about your connection and he, with this energy it's so interesting that they came out reverse because it's like it's not quite a shutting down of emotions you do something to this person, Scorpio. I don't know how to describe this. You do something to them. It's like their their emotions get all disheveled. Like like it's a sweater. Like they're yeah, like they can't like their emotions get all disheveled when it comes to you. And I think because you are so attractive. Oh, Scorpio. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. 
Scorpio, this is another reason I think they want you to be more in the tiger position, not the snake. Hang in there with me. Don't crucify me just yet. Be a little gentle on this person, okay? Hey, if this person did something really awful to you, they did something really awful to you. But what I'm picking up here, oh, by the way, page of wands, uh, page of wands, page of swords, I was gonna say, I do think they're keeping an eye on you. Um, <laughs> it's this energy of like, sorry, not, is it hot and bothered? It's more than hot and bothered. It's like, um, because you're so attractive to them, Scorpio, they like, <laughs> they can't hold it together. They can't hold, that's what it is it's kind of cute they can't hold it together that no wonder they're trying to like organize their freaking emotions and they're all up in their head about this they don't know what to make of this connection scorpio they don't know what to make of this and i don't think they handled it right because scorpio like i said you feel pretty rejected but i think that's because they, they 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 just they couldn't hold their own shit together when it came to you i think that's i think that's all i think i see i can barely talk i can barely talk i think that's all it is scorpio uh Take it as a compliment. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. Let's see what else comes out here. Yeah, they, they can't figure out why you do this to them. Scorpios. Oh my gosh. And I'm, now I'm getting it. Okay. And the fact that they miss you so much and they feel so lonely without you. Um, and they're really in their head about what's happened. I don't... <laughs> Scorpio, I don't think this person's ever been in love before. I think that's what this is. And on top of it, they're very attracted to you. But let's see, let's see, uh, let's see what else comes out here. Tell me about the hangman. <clears throat> Tell me about the hangman for Scorpio. Yeah, I like, it's it's kind of cute. I'm sorry, Scorps, it's kind of cute. Tell me about the hangman for Scorpio regarding love. Eight of wands, they want to talk, Scorps. I was now, see, now I can't stop smiling. Uh, Sagittarian energy, they want to talk. They also want to travel to you is what I'm getting. Doorstep, oh, oh. Scorpios this if this person knows where you live if they know where you live they they might they might just show up on your door um god and I'm getting all this sacral energy uh yeah Scorpio you do something to this person where they can't they can't like they just lose it they like they become all disheveled they get hot and bothered they don't know how to talk and I think normally this person does which is why in hangman mode they're upright as a king of cups but when it comes to you, <laughs> they, they, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't. They, this person's energy is ridiculous. They can't. They do, they, they're dying to talk to you though, Scorpio. They're dying to talk to you. They are also dying to move things forward with you. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the hangman for Scorpio. Tell me about the hangman for Scorpio. But I feel like you're in this mode of trying to protect yourself because you feel rejected. I can see it. Time of the hangman for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh my God. <laughs> Overall energy. Page of Cups. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh my goodness. This person really wants to talk to you. They have a lot of love for you. You just dishevel the hell out of them. <clears throat> you just dishevel the hell out of them. You do. You very much do. So Scorpio, I, I just heard it's not what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, Scorpio, whatever you think has happened, I mean, this energy, I can feel it. You feel really rejected. And that alone has very much irritated you, put you on the defensive, like an, a Scorpio would be. Um, but Scorps, they, 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 they really do care. They do. I think they just didn't know how to handle themselves. And I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses if this person did something horrible. You'll know if this is your situation. Um, underneath that, we do have the four of wands in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, this is an apology. This is an apology. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, double confirmation there. They want to come in and fix this. They want to come in and rebuild this a little bit. I, I Oh, start over. Start over. Yeah, I just heard start over here. Oh! <laughs> Scorpios! The Magician! Mercurial Energy, which is Virgo and Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy with the Empress. Libra Energy, Taurus Energy, Divine Feminine Energy. Which Venus is in Scorpio, by the way. Yeah, look, Scorpio. I'm sorry, this is cute <laughs> to me. Like that you could make someone so <laughs> like that in your presence because they care so much about you or they're so attracted to you. It's cute. I'm sorry, it's cute. And I'm sorry you feel rejected because I just, again, I don't think they handled it well, but they do want to come in and apologize. They want to manifest growth with you. They want to manifest abundance with you. They want to fix this. And they do see you as an empress, by the way. 
They do see, oh yeah, marriage material. They see as marriage material. Oh, wow, Scorpios, it just keeps going and going. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy with the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. They know they miss you. They know they miss you. They know they feel lonely without you. They're all up in their head about you. They just, you just, you just dishevel the hell out of them. It's, it's, it's cute. It's very cute. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's go to you, Scorpio. This is definitely your energy. Oh, I feel major, major defensive energy here. Be the tiger, not the snake, Scorpio. <laughs> Be the tiger, not the snake, okay? Um, let's look at death, actually. Let's look at death. Let's just look at you. Mm, yeah, Spellcasters is calling me. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. For Scorpio regarding love October 12th to the 21st but the second this person hits you up Scorpio I think that alone is what's going to trigger you because you already feel rejected or abandoned some of you might have had those issues triggered because of the situation um so like I said Scorpio tiger not the snake tell me about death some of you might not believe them oh that's interesting that's what they're telling me some of you might not believe them Scorpios, this is self-mastery time, okay? Self-mastery time. Tell me about death for Scorpio. And also, like, keep in mind, Scorpio, you just shovel the hell out of them. They're coming to you like that anyway, okay? <laughs> Imagine how hard that is. Imagine how hard that is. Tell me about death for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. They already look at you like you're their empress, by the way. I'm like, I'm like I can't stop staring at the empress card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god, this throat chakra energy is ridiculous. My voice is like literally going out. <clears throat> Scorpio, they already see, they already see you as their empress. Whether you're a man or a woman, they see you as their emperor. Tell me about death for Scorpio regarding love, October twelfth to the twenty first. <clears throat> yeah there's gonna be some major conversation here okay tell me about death for scorpio regarding love october 12th to the 21st tell me about death for scorpio regarding love october 12th to the 21st Ay! okay that is way too many cards way too many cards i'll take the only two that are face up ha <laughs> Mm-hmm. Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leah with the King of Cups. And now they're upright. They pulled their shit together, Scorpio. They pulled, they they organized their drawer of emotions. <laughs> and they they're they're put together now. They're put together. King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. They're coming in fast, Scorpio. They're coming into you, but like I said, you feel rejected. So I can feel that defensive energy from you. But they're coming to you. Okay. They're coming to you very fast. They got a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. Tell me about death. Tell me about death for Scorpio. I, you know, Scorpio is also getting this sense that like, was this a slow build? Wait, what is this? Hold on, I'm getting a download here. I think at first they didn't know what to make of you. At first they didn't know what to make of you. I, I think... I think part of this distance has helped them to understand more and help them organize what they feel here, okay? And there is the emperor in the hangman position. <laughs> Double confirmation. Piscean energy with the emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, by masculine energy with judgment in reverse, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. We do have the emperor to the empress here. Very indicative of power couple. Very indicative of power couple. Whoever this is, Scorpio, they are fairly established. They have a lot of stability in their life. Well, they have a lot of stability in their life. They do a lot of stability in their life, but they are just contemplating on this like over and over and over. And Scorpio, it's funny because like I said, you guys are mirroring each other a little bit. You're the hermit, right? You're going within. They're the hanged man trying to get information like esoterically and intuitively about the situation while you're going within on this, having your own little death process as well to heal. But you look at them like making a big fat mistake. It's like you kind of know that they're in hiding a little bit, Scorpio, but you're trying to focus on you, but you definitely look at them like they've made a mistake. Let's see what else we got here. I did just hear the word bitter. Scorpio, be careful, okay? Be careful of that. Tell me about death for Scorpio. 
regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about death for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. I think normally this person is, is actually very good at mastering their emotions. I feel like oh, maybe even like hiding how they actually feel. They can't do that with you and they don't like it. And now we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, uh, no, Cancer. Scorpio, this is you. But Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, they know they did you wrong. And you were hurt. Like I said, you feel abandoned. You feel abandoned. Um, and you are hurt by this. You're definitely hurt by this. I, and like, I do feel a little codependent energy here though, Scorps. I gotta be honest. Uh, some... <coughs> Ah. Um, for some of you, this triggered some of your abandonment issues. And for some of you, that abandonment issue relates to a codependency issue. But I can feel a little bit of codependency here. And it honestly feels a little back and forth too. So they could have a little bit of codependency issues as well. Uh, just keep that in check. Keep that in check. Overall energy, we do have the Ten of Swords. Gemini energy, yeah, there was some kind of ending here. Something that was kind of painful. Scorpio, I feel like you felt the brunt of that. But it does seem like... That's the thing they keep telling me. It's not what it seems. It seems like something ended. And Scorpio, you're the one who felt rejected here. Okay? But you guys are a true pair. The King and Queen of Cups. The Emperor and the Empress. Very much a true pair. And there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion. Now. <laughs> my throat chakra. Oh my god. I'm going to have to take another break after this. So let's look at this energy. The night. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Let's just look at the Nine of Pentacles because that's their energy coming into you here. Because they do feel alone without you. They do miss you quite a bit. <clears throat> and they're all up in their head about you. Um, let's go for Gilded here. Actually, let me get some water. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Time of the Knight of Pentacles. Time of the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Regarding love. Scorpios, if you're not meditating, meditate, please. I think that's really going to help you here. Um, I think that's also going to help just calm your emotions. I think that's what it is. It's going to help you have more mastery over your emotions in this situation. Time of the Knight of Pentacles. I know, I keep getting downloads, sorry. Um, I think you two talk to each other telepathically. Some of you talk to this person telepathically. Either way, it's, there's a very, like, there's, an, there's a really awesome little spiritual connection here. I think you two do feel each other. I think you two do feel each other here, which I think is also why they're nervous to come in, because they know you feel rejected. Okay. I know the Knight of Pentacles. For Scorpio, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Scorpio, don't attack this person. Even if, again, even if they did something really horrible and horrendous to you, save your energy. There's something bigger coming after this, is what I'm getting. Okay. Time of the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> You won't have time to rest, is what I just heard. You won't have time to rest. I feel like this is probably going to be more career for you guys. <clears throat> Tell me about Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. It's going to take them a while to come in, Scorpio. They're dying to, they want to, and when they decide to, they're going to come in really fast. But they're trapped in fear. They're eight and... Okay, first of all, hold up. We literally have... Fucking shit, I can't pick these up. The eight, nine, and the ten from all different decks here. Eight, nine, ten in it, okay? They're eight, nine, tening this shit. They're, they're in a lot of mental torture about this, okay? A lot of fear, a lot of anxiety about approaching you, okay? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Also to be uh, my Divine Soul Connection card here. It's also about making decisions, but yeah, they... <sighs> Scorpio. They they know what this connection is. They get it. They know it. They feel it. They're just terrified to approach you. And also in part because you do kind of dishevel them. <laughs> I like that so cute. You dishevel them like emotionally here. 
They they want to get all their drawer, their emotional drawers situated before they approach you, okay? It's my book. Mm-hmm. Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy. You're their Ten of Cups, Scorpio. This is crazy. You're their Ten of Cups. You both love each other. They got a lot of passion for you. They want to make it right. It's so clear cut. It's so clear cut. But Scorpios, I don't think you feel that way right now. I, even as I'm talking, I feel like you guys are having a really hard time believing me. And of course, this message is not for everybody. And also, guys, try to keep everything high vibe. I do check in on the chats every once in a while for the premieres. When you guys get, when we, when, when we, I'll include myself in this because I'm guilty of this too. We're all human, right? Um, when we get low vibe about stuff, where are they at? Where are they at? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are they at? That's not going to be me. That's not going to happen to me. The more you say that, the more that's going to be true. Okay. The more you're going to invite that energy into your life. So if you want to invite more positive energy into your life, more love into your life, you got to be high vibe about this stuff. It just, that's just how law of attraction works. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also it's just good to keep it high vibe, especially in chats, because everyone in the chat feels that energy. It's not, you know, why spread that around? Let's spread high vibe, right? Let's spread around high vibes. And like I said, I'm guilty of it too. I got to check myself too. It's okay. Play about Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Scorpio. <laughs> I'm getting an energy of a gift. I got to be honest here. They look at you like a gift. You're kind of a gift to this person, a little bit of a blessing. They see the Ten of Cups with you. They see a really stable beginning with you. They know you're stable because they know you're the Empress. I mean, my God. <sighs> Empress with a Queen of Wands combo. That's pretty irresistible, Scorpio. No wonder you dishevel this person. Um, they want it all with you. They don't, they just, they, they just, they got, they got to get, they got to deal this dishevelment issue first. Um, Time of the Knight of Pentacles. Time of the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. Overall energy. Oh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Wow, with the Five of Wands, Leo energy. There's a, this is a big block for them. I'm getting that this is a block. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. Could also be air or water. And then we have the world in reverse. Fixed energy, which I'm glad the world is here. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn. So this energy is coming to an end with the world in reverse. But it is a block. They have to get rid of this energy. They're the ones that have to get rid of this energy. This energy has created a block from them coming to you. Scorpio, they feel like they lost their chance here. But they're determined. They're determined. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's like losing a legacy opportunity. Which is why... Ace of Pentacles came out with the Ten of Cups. It's a second chance. Five of Wands, a lot of conflict. I don't know why, but I feel like people got involved in this. Oh, I'm going to have to stitch these videos. Sorry, Scorps. <laughs> I'm going to have to stitch these videos. Do I, why do I feel like other people got involved in this? I'm hearing opinions. I'm hearing opinions of others. It could have been an opinion of a mother figure or... Um, what? Why would an ex get a say? Mm. For some, an ex had a say. I think that's peculiar. Uh, anyway, so many, so many thoughts just ran through my head with that one, but let's not go there. Um, but I'm getting major, major conflict here. Major conflict, and I do feel opinions. I kind of want to clarify that a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's use the Kipper, de Kipper deck with this. No, Lenormand? Wait, hold up. Lenormand or Kipper? Kipper. Okay, Kipper. Okay. So I'm about the Five of Wands. Time about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Whoa, too many cards. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? Some were just afraid that you're going to fight back, Scorpio, or just kind of like sting them. Which again, that energy of that advice of tiger, not snake. Oh. Are you kidding me? Community is the first card out. Yeah, for some, this is like opinions of other people. Wow. So we have community, energy of 39, breaking down to a three. Yeah, I feel like this person was getting was hearing opinions from other people about the about you, about the situation. We have change, energy of nine, and then thoughts, 
16 breaking down to a seven, which is being on your path and bad health. 31 breaking down to a four here. Yeah, I yeah, the opinions of others here, the opinions of others were plaguing this person's mind as well. It's did they invite? I feel like they invited these opinions, though. I got to be honest. I feel like they invited these opinions, but it just stressed them out. It stressed them out. And I feel like. Did it change their mind? Hold on. What's going on here? Definitely the opinions of others made this person more stressed out than they had to be about this whole situation. Yeah, without a doubt. Made them more stressed out. Made them think, I don't think necessarily negative of you. I think just stressed out about the situation in general. Like the Nine of Swords. Very much the Nine of Swords energy. Could, could okay, for some of you where you've known this person for a very long time, <clears throat> it could have been the influence of their friends, coworkers, or family could have actually made them think that you weren't good for them. And it wasn't until you were gone that they're like, oh shit, no, Scorpio is actually like really amazing for me. Um, sometimes that happens because at, I say this all the time, guys. Be careful who you go to for advice when it comes to your love life. People are biased. People are biased. Sometimes people don't want you to be happy. That's first thing. Others, you know, they just, they have their own biased opinion because they don't know the person the way you do. It's like, it's a connection between you and that person, not you and that person and 10 other people, right? So for those where you knew this person for a very long time, <clears throat> There's been a situation that's gone on for a long time. I do feel like they changed this king's mind about you and made them think, oh, yeah, maybe Scorpio is not good for me. I'm out. Come to find out, shit, I was so wrong. Why did I listen to them? Um, others where this is more like you haven't known them that long. I think the opinions of others just made this person really stressed out about you and have a lot of like inner conflicts about you. Uh, let's see what else we have here. This person might be a little bit of a people pleaser. I just I'm feeling the energy. So I'm just calling it out there. Getting a lot of Leo energy with this too. Leo and Virgo. So about the five of wands? Yeah, on the bottom. Oh, interesting. We have mature man with pathway. Ooh, and message. Okay, I kind of like this energy because it basically tells me this person is maturing after this whole situation, after hearing the opinions of others and with, you know, spending time in hangman mode about you, Scorpio, and what to do, how they really feel about you. They're looking at their long-term plan. Pathway is like a two-year time, like time span energy. Um, they're looking ahead at what's to come for them and they want to communicate about it. They want to talk about it. Scorpio, they see you as part of their long-term plan. They know that you could be a very um, critical <laughs> words, <laughs> English. Uh, they know that you could be a very, very valuable, that's a better word, valuable puzzle piece to their long-term plan here, okay? And like I said, Scorps, it's not just like a logical decision. It's also an emotional one. They, like I said, they got a lot of love for you, a lot of love for you. So let's go ahead and pull some advice, Scorpios. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? 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 Yeah, guys, it, it's cool to talk to your friends about like, you know, your romantic interests. There's nothing wrong with that. But when they start trying to give you opinions and shit, be very, very cautious about what you're hearing and what you take home with you. Because you know that person better than they do, right? And you know yourself better than, you know yourself best and what's best for you more so than anyone else, even better than me. Okay. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? I like it. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. 15 breaking down to a six. I feel very six of pentacles energy with this Scorpio. Like I said, I feel something big coming for you. And I feel that with this energy. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's career wise or just money in general. Yeah, I'm getting very, very intense six of pentacles energy here. Um, I also, it's again, this energy of like, it's not what it seems, Scorpio. You feel like this person rejected you, abandoned you, even betrayed you maybe. Again, if they did something horrible, then you already know that. Um, I don't think you're going to believe what they're going to be telling you. I yeah, I really feel strongly you don't see this coming. You don't you don't expect you don't expect this. You don't expect them to feel this way. You don't expect them to want this with you. You don't expect it. 
it's going to be a little bit like a gift. Gifts for you, gifts for them, I guess. It's going to be a little bit like a gift. The miracles are endless, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all. Okay. So that message I was giving you guys about staying high vibe versus low vibe when it comes to like law of attraction and things like that, they're reminding me of that. I'm not going to go on my whole spiel again. I know I got a little soapboxy there. My apologies. But it's just true. And I don't want you guys to miss out on anything because, you know, because you're getting stuck in that energy when you don't have to be, right? When you don't have to be. When you're optimistic and positive, a lot of cool things can happen. Because you're also just more open and you can see more right? You can just see more, including your intuition. It is also expanded when you're in that kind of a mindset. And Scorpios, you know, you you know, your intuition is awesome. So also keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love and dear spirit, bring a gentle touch, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. What did I say? Calm. The tiger is calm. The snake is proactive. The snake is defensive. The snake is aggressive. Tigers, of course, tigers can be like prodded and poked, but the energy behind the totem of tiger is cool, calm, and collected for strength and willpower. Exercise that willpower here, Scorpio. Scorpios, this is definitely the advice for you, at least for my feminine energies here. Be gentle with this person because they they do have a lot of love for you. They do have a lot of love for you. It might not seem like it. It might seem like a miracle. <laughs> it might seem very unexpected, but they do. Okay, they do. I also have progression energy here because we have 18 breaking down to a nine, which is completions. Dog spirit is a cyclical energy. So closing cycles, opening cycles. This could be a whole new chapter between you and this person. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Any other advice from my Scorpios regarding love? Any other advice from my Scorpios regarding... Elephant spirit. I like this one. Learn from the past. 25 breaking down to a seven. I'm also like being reminded of that story because I saw the mice, right? It's like the elephant and the mice story. I don't know why. Like, like they're aren't they supposedly afraid of mice or something like that? I don't know. I don't know why that I started thinking about that. Anyway, Scorpio, learn from the past here. I think you've you've been down this road before with, with people in general of, you know, maybe you get hurt, you get triggered, you go into that stinger mode, and maybe come to find out. They were trying to apologize and maybe come to find out whatever the events were that took place weren't exactly what took place. Learn from that. Learn from that and exercise that here. Okay. Any other advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? We're all human, Scorps. Just saying, we're all human. I can feel a lot of you are not happy about the way I'm reading this. <laughs> Overall energy, stag spirit, take the lead. I like it. 58, what does that break down to? Wait, 12, 13. Oh, a four, stability here. I feel like this is actually for the emperors. I feel like it's for the emperors here. The Because em this whole dishevelment issue, the emperor needs to handle that. The emperor needs to take care of that. Scorpio, the way they're going to step to you... I feel like they're going to try to be more like this, like very alpha with you. But I think because they have, they just feel so much for you and just have so much going on internally when it comes to you, they might get really more like, like this, like soft. They might soften here. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's like they might start out very alpha and they might soften through the conversation quite a bit here. They might think you want this. Scorpio, they might be picking up on that. They might they might think that you really want like an alpha like energy, whether it's true or not. I, I think that that's what they think you need or think you want. Scorpio, I, I can hear some of you guys like, that'd be nice, but I don't need it. <laughs> that'd be nice, but I don't need it. Scorpio, as I like, like as long as the person's giving, you know, appropriately and it's equal give and take, Scorpios, I know you, you guys got a lot of love. You guys got a lot of love, Scorpios that's just who you are you're like really really freaking loyal right um scorpios it's like as long as like someone can give that back to you that's really all you care about that's really all you care about uh but there's this like question of alpha this is interesting there's question of alpha versus beta coming coming in here strong so that's yeah so take that as it resonates take that as it resonates that might be something that you guys have to work out that would be something that you guys have to work out between the two of you. Anyway, Scorpius, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Scorps. Namaste.